Hey guys, it's Dr. Akiba Green here. We're talking about a very important topic. Now one of the big things we do with my office is the body's use of glutathione. Now glutathione is an antioxidant that our body makes and it protects your body from disease. Now modern life inflicts constant assaults on our bodies in the way of the foods we eat, environmental toxins, chronic stressors, lack of sleep, even electromagnetic frequencies from cell phones and computers. Our best defense to help protect is to shore up glutathione which are our body's master antioxidant. Now, although the body naturally makes and recycles glutathione, modern life can overwhelm the system. It depletes us of this vital compound. When glutathione is low in the body, the body is more vulnerable to disease and damage, and your risk for disease actually rises. So glutathione as a supplement is actually not very well absorbed by the digestive tract. What this means is we can't just take it off, the, off a, a shelf and fix our levels. Now, fortunately, there are many nutritional compounds that act as building blocks to glutathione and they can help raise and maintain our levels inside and outside of the cells. You can also obtain glutathione intravenously through an IV or liposomally through a cream on the skin. That's the preferred way that I use it in my office. And below are some of the many nutritional compounds that we've shown to boost glutathione levels. Now the first thing that we look at is diet and lifestyle factors that can also affect glutathione levels. So sulfur rich foods like garlic, onions, broccoli, kale, collards, cabbage, cauliflower, watercress, they can all help boost glutathione. If you can tolerate dairy, whey protein has been shown to increase glutathione. Now choose bioactive, non-denatured, non-pasteurized, non-GMO, non-industrialized produce, produced whey. I personally use Designs for Health's whey protein when available, although I really tend to say a lot of people, you gotta make sure that you're not dairy sensitive because you may be using whey and maybe dairy free otherwise, but even the whey is something that a lot of my patients react to. Now exercise also boosts glutathione levels. You can get aerobic exercise daily, walk, just walking around the block with your dog is walking. And how about strength training two to three times a week? One of the most important ways to maintain your glutathione levels is to reduce stress on your body. Now glutathione's job is to protect the cells, whether it's from an autoimmune disease, sleep deprivation, or the toxic ingredients in detergents and fabric softeners. Healthy glutathione levels help reduce your risk of developing chronic and autoimmune diseases, as well as food and chemical sensitivities. It's also an excellent anti-aging compound. Now, some strategies to help deplete or to help prevent depletion of glutathione include finding out what your food sensitivities are, removing those foods from your diet. Now, many people are not aware that they are sensitive or intolerant to common foods such as bread or cheese. My office uses Cyrex Labs. Cyrex laboratory testing helps me determine which foods are stressing your immune system and taxing glutathione levels. You can eat an all natural, whole foods diet. Processed foods, fast foods contain chemical additives, genetically altered foods, antibiotics, hormones, excess sugar, and other ingredients that are stressful to the body and deplete glutathione. Get enough sleep. Sleep deprivation is very stressful. If you have issues sleeping, it's often secondary to something else. Contact my office for help on that. Now how about managing your autoimmune disease? An autoimmune or chronic disease such as Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, rheumatoid arthritis, or diabetes keeps the immune system on overdrive and damages tissues, depleting glutathione levels. Ask my office how we can help you manage your autoimmunity. If you have any other questions on glutathione or diagnosing and treating your metabolic condition, contact me at 704-987-3993 or visit me on the web at drakibagreen.com. Hope you've enjoyed this info. I look forward to speaking with you soon.